<laughs> Let me also just ask everyone if they can give a round of applause to Stacy Lentz, the owner of the Stone Wall. And thank you, Stacy, for having us here today. And I do think it bears noting that Stacy has led a lot of important events here, other ones with the Anti Violence Project. So this is an ongoing commitment to making our city a safe and free place for everybody. So thank you, Stacy. I want to thank first uh, uh, Sharon Staple and Jeff Companion for chairing the table as part of the Silent Father's Day March. I want to thank Reverend Sharpton and Ben Jealous and George Gresham and Stu Appleton and everyone else who is here today who has been organizing this march. I want to tell uh, Ben Jealous that uh, I've gotten a lot of nice wedding presents. <laughs> the best, though, was the text I got from Maxim at the NAACP as I was getting dressed for my wedding on May 19th saying your board had passed a resolution <laughs> in support of marriage equality. So, uh, And this uh, march and, and the call to change the reality of 700,000 New Yorkers being stopped on a regular basis. And 700,000 New Yorkers not distributed through every neighborhood in the, 500, the five boroughs. That's not 700,000 New Yorkers out of 8.4 million New Yorkers. It's 700,000 New Yorkers out of a particular subset of neighborhoods, out of a particular set of New Yorkers. So it makes the number much more significant. This march is very linked to what the NAACP did in that resolution. It's sending a message that our quest, all of us as New Yorkers, is to make this a city that is free and safe and embracing for everyone. And if you have a situation where the relationship between communities and the police department is severed, then those communities can never feel or really be safe. Because the key to making our city safe is to have a positive connection between the police and the communities they are charged with protecting. And when you have 700,000 people most of them younger men of color who are repeatedly stopped with not significant with most of them at the end of the process not being charged or found guilty you have a process that is simply broken and needs to be changed and a process if it stays in place this way will only cause further divisions we're in a place now where there are divisions we can we can bridge we can come back together but with this it wasn't for this march and these efforts I believe those divides would grow so large we don't know what would happen so I want to thank everyone for calling this march together I want to thank everyone in the LGBT community for having such a large and diverse and national coalition because it is important for the national leaders who are here the message they are sending NGLTF and the human rights campaign and others that we know in New York we are the greatest city in the world and other cities watch what we do. It's a fact. And if we do it badly, it's bad for us, but that could spread. And if we do it well, it is good for us, and that will spread. And that is a big part of what will happen on Father's Day. So I want to thank everyone for pulling this together, and thank everyone for giving me the honor of participating today and on Father's Day. Woo!